Cricut.com and it's been a little bit since I've done a video so I wanted to share this awesome trick that I know. Sorry, it's a Sunday and my family's in there watching a quick little movie together snuggling so I'm going to do this really quick video and then I'm going to join them. But um, it's something you can do with your silhouette mats if you have a silhouette because the silhouette, mat, silhouette mats are very um, see-through. So I learned this from someone else. Well, they told me about it. And I have not tried it yet, so I'm going to try it with you guys. But what I've done is I've made a title in my silhouette program, and I've gone ahead and I've made the shadow layer, and I've made a regular layer which has, you know, little letters and, you know, things that you, it would take you quite some time to glue down. So I'm just going to go ahead and peel up the shadow layer quick. Look how perfect that comes out. And it's going to go here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to adhere it down while we have this here. And since it's a shadow layer, there's a lot of spots where I can adhere it down because there's lots of blank space. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that. And then I'm going to position it where I want it to go, which is about right here. And then once that's done, here's the magic part, okay? So here's the other part. And what we're going to do is we're going to peel up the red so that we leave all the letters down. And then I'm going to go ahead, sorry I should have used a clean mat for you guys, but I had this one going and I decided that I was going to show you guys this and I didn't get a clean mat out. So I'm going to go ahead and peel up the middles of some of these that didn't come up using my little piercing tool. I don't want any of these middle pieces in here. Oh, in case you're wondering, they're watching Cloudy with the Champs Meatballs. I know you can probably hear it. My son loves it if it's like a movie theater. So the lights have to be off, and it has to be loud, and they snuggle under blankets and have popcorn. Okay, so now that we have all of that done, okay, do you see it's just the letters? And if you haven't noticed yet, what I did before I cut it out is I reversed it. So you can do that by just right clicking and then clicking flip horizontally. And now I'm going to take my glue and I'm just going to adhere it to the spots, to the letters. I'm going to adhere tons and tons of adhesive, at least to each letter. You could also use a pen or something, an adhesive pen. Okay, once I have all the letters done, I'm just going to kind of position it. And I'm going to try to let you guys see and myself see at the same time. Over my shadow layer, just like that. Looks like I got it mostly. My A is a little off. So, And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to rub it down just like if you were going to use vinyl or something like that. You can use a, a fancy tool, you can use your fingertips, um, whatever you want to use. So I'm just going to use my fingertips because my tool is not anywhere around here. So I've been using it for um, vinyl lately. And then peel up your mat, and the adhesive should have stuck to the, um, to the other layer. And if you see that some parts are coming up, then just kind of peel it down and then peel the rest of the mat up there we go and that's it so by doing the reverse layer and then applying adhesive I kind of could skip over the applying adhesive to each and every letter and then putting it down and it's lined up perfectly so that's it that's a little um, silhouette trick I don't think you could do it with your Cricut because the mats aren't as see-through, so you could try. But that's all I have for you guys today. Thanks for watching. See you next time.